So we're gonna go over really quick how we clean these shields to make sure that they're safe as they're going out. We use HGQ, which has been recommended to us by Lansing Sanitary Supply. It's an incredible disinfectant and it also kills the COVID-19 uh, virus. So that's why this has been selected. We are going to dilute it for you and include the spray bottle. It's one ounce to a gallon of water, so it's incredibly potent. So how we're going to clean these, you're just gonna spray one side, wipe it down. And what this is doing is just removing whatever's on it. And there's also a little bit of smoke residue from the laser cutters. And we'll flip it over, do the other side. One squirt is plenty per side. And you've got a clean face shield that's ready for foam. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to assemble the masks. In every box, uh, every assembly box, there will be some of these papers. This is the guide on how to put the foam on the mask. It's really simple. You just line it up. So you take your clean face shield, line it up with the outline, take your piece of foam. The best way to get these off is just pinch the foam and the backing will come right off. Place the foam within this black box, press down, and you have a face shield. When you put this on, we are asking that all of the slots in the face shield go to the right. Uh, it's gonna make it more consistent and easier for everybody that is on the diagram. So make the slots point to the right and that is how you assemble the face shield. I am going to show you how we are packaging the face shields. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay a roll of bubble wrap underneath the face shields because we're going to use this to wrap when we're done to keep everything together. The way that we're stacking these is a row of 10 long by 12 high. So there will be 120 shields per stack. This is how we're going to stack them so that they're safe. The swoop of the shield will always go towards the middle of the stack. We're going to do five with the foam facing up. All of the swoops are facing towards the center of the stack. Then we're going to do five shields with the foam facing down. Again, the swoops are going to point towards the center of the stack. So they'll be overlapping each other. This will help keep them all together, it'll help keep them protected, and then we will wrap them when we're all done. Again, 10 long with five foam facing up, five foam facing down, and 12 high for a stack of 120. So once we have our stack and it's all wrapped, we're just going to pick it up like this, place it right in the box. See how I did uh, change the direction a little bit just to keep everything safe. Slide it in there. And then there's a little bit of room on the edges of the box. So we'll just stuff that with some bubble wrap just to keep it safe. Close it up and we've got our, we've got our box. As part of our assembly team, I just wanna say thank you so much for everything that you're doing to help us with these shields. It's been a project that's been in the works for a couple of weeks. And because of you guys, we're going to be able to get this PPE out to the people who need it to help protect them, to help save lives. So thank you from my heart. Thank you from Tinker Lab. Thank you for being part of our team. I appreciate you.